Hi friends, Jen here with Serenity Hill Farmstead, and today I have something a little bit different here for you. I have my Costco haul for today. Um, this is something that I've kind of gone back and forth on, and do I share this, do I not share this? I'm gonna share it because I get a lot of the things that I use with herbalism that I use to make my products from Costco. And today I only have two things that I got here, but I'm gonna kind of make mention of a few things that I normally get and show you some products that I get to make some of my herbal products so that you know these are some great deals that you can um, you can snag, you can take advantage of to help you in your herbal medicine. So I'm tying this together. You see how I'm grasping at that? Like we're gonna do a Costco haul and I'm gonna make it herbal. So, okay, let me show you what I got today. Okay, so we've got mess, real life here. This is where we store the vodka. A lot of herbs that I'm currently in the process of dealing with, an oil stain mess. <laughs> and some supplies that don't fit in the cabinet. So this one right here, this is the oil before we get into what I bought today. And wow, I really need to, I need to sweep over here. I get the Kirkland olive oil and the extra virgin olive oil is a good deal too. And I get the virgin uh, coconut oil from Costco. This is honestly, it's like the best deal on these two things for the size that I use. So if you are gonna make soap, uh, making herbal soap or just making some herbal infused oils great place to get your products from we're going to totally ignore how messy my floor is when you are in the process of making tons of content you can really choose between cleaning your house some days and making content and as of late because remember those big projects that i have going it's been making content so we're going to ignore the mess right yes we're going to do that okay so this is my entire haul I'm going to lead with, I got some expensive things, right? I got some expensive things. <laughs> it stacks up pretty high here. And I've never spent this much at Costco, but um, this was kind of broken apart because that's a business purchase. That's a business purchase. So it's justified, right? We're gonna go through everything and I'm gonna tell you prices, uh, what things are at Costco right now in case you're not sure. Hi, Kitty. All right, we're gonna start with the two uh, non-food items that I got. The Cuisinart, now I thought this was a great deal because you can tell I already opened it up and then re realized, oh yeah, that's right, I'm filming this, <laughs> let's stop. Uh, most stick blenders that I get are usually about $40 for just the stick blender and it had the food processor in there, which I need a decent food processor. So I just got that. And I'm happy with this one. So stick blenders, because of how hard I am on them, usually last me a year. We'll see how long this one lasts, but that was $39.99. The Vitamix here, let's move some stuff. It's that one. That, it is the Explorian series. E520 is the model number. It is this one here that came with two tumblers. Uh, I use this for like macerating things. Um, herbal blends, things like that. So I will be using this for work, but because there's not gonna be any soap type ingredients going in there, I can also use that for, you know, for home. So I'm excited about this because I've never owned a Vitamix and I've always wanted one and I grabbed one. And that one was, so let's see, $399.99, so $400. So total for those two things, this is for my work purchases, $470.78. All right, so I got these gloves. I got three pairs, one for each of my younger kiddos. Uh, I think my older one has gloves, so I wanted to check with him first. If not, he's probably gonna just need a good pair of insulated work gloves anyway, because he's, you know, he's 18. He doesn't do too much playing in the snow anymore unless it's motorized and kind of dangerous. So um, anyway, <laughs> I really like these types of gloves that have the reinforced fingers because my kids are forever ripping the tops of their gloves. So I love that these went all the way around the fingertips. This is great for my kids. So I have a 13, 12, and nine year old that I got these for. And really, here's the options. There's a purple line for girls and gray for boys. That's really it, which honestly is fine. Uh, I got a couple things of batteries. These are $17.99 each, I believe. I got double A and triple A. Yes, I got the Kirkland, Kirkland brand. I've never actually tried these before. I had the Duracell in my cart and then I found those were like $3 each cheaper. 
So I'm like, let's just try them. Let's do it. All right, I got a bag of organic extra fine green beans. Normally I do not buy green beans. Normally I grow them, but I canned a grand total of four jars this year, which is quite pathetic, but I need them. We eat this, we eat green beans a ton. So I got a bag of green beans to go with the rest of the frozen ones that I have in the freezer. And then from here on out, I'm probably gonna have to buy two bags each time we go to Costco. I got a thing of our um, laundry soap. We love this and this lasts forever. I got a tub of Daisy Sour Cream, which, you know, we're kind of adjusting to our oldest not living here full time. We're still buying his groceries because his school does not have a meal plan. They don't have like a cafeteria. It's a very, very small college and their dorms are more like apartments. So they have full kitchens where they can cook and everything in. So we still provide his groceries every week. Uh, and he goes through an obscene amount of sour cream. <laughs> so I still have a little less than half of a tub of sour cream from last month. So we just have a lot of extra sour cream, which is awesome, but still kind of weird to me. Uh, this is actually going to be for dinner tonight. I like these for fast dinners, smoked pulled pork, uh, rubbed with seasonings. And the seasonings on here, so here's the ingredients. where they go? Where'd you go? Here we are. So pork, water, vinegar, salt, natural flavoring, mm, rubbed with sea salt, black pepper, paprika, red pepper, and garlic powder. So it's not horrible. I don't know what natural flavoring is. I don't know. But this is one of those fast dinners uh, like tonight. I have to work. So this is in the microwave for like, I think it's seven minutes. And I'm making some rice and some broccoli with it. And if somebody wants pulled pork sandwiches instead of rice and broccoli, then they can help themselves. But that's all I have to make. I got two bags of dried mangoes. There's another one behind there. One for my husband to take at work and one for me and the little people to eat for on the go snacks. A thing of coffee for my husband. I got a big bag of rice, it's 25 pounds. And I forgot that I'm supposed to be telling you the prices. So bag of jasmine rice, 25 pounds is 17.49. Uh, and this is for our area. So, you know, yours are probably gonna be a little different, but that's ours. The coffee is $15.99. And I remember when that was $10. Thank you, inflation. Uh, the mangoes are $11.99. The pulled pork is $13.99. The sour cream was $4.99. And the organic green beans are $8.99. Okay, so now we're caught up. Did I tell you that these were $12.99 and these were $17.99? Okay, now that we're caught up. And I did forget, the Ecos laundry detergent is $14.99 now. So, okay, back to what we're doing here. All right, going back up here, I am trying this new shampoo and conditioner because I keep hearing really good things about it. And I really are not, I'm just, I'm not loving mine. So $17.99 for shampoo. And usually I use my soap for shampoo, but I'm running really low on it. So maybe that's why I don't love it, <laughs> but we're going to try it. I don't love my conditioner at all. And the conditioner is also $17.99. So we're going to try that. The big thing of waffles there. That is for super fast breakfasts. If I am not feeling good, if I'm flaring, if we are in a really, really big hurry, that is $11.99. And then these up here are hand warmers and foot warmers, and those are super important for us for the winter. So I went ahead and picked those up. I think those were $14.99 and $13.99. The hand warmers were $13.99, and the toe warmers were $14.99. There you go. Coming back over here, these are for our pizza nights. Gluten-free pizzas for me and Caleb, and uh, one goes to school with Wyatt. And then we've got the non-gluten-free pizzas, the regular ones here. And let's see, what were those? Gluten-free pizzas were $16.89, and the regular pizzas were $10.99. That's a big difference, okay. We've got a bag of semi-sweet chocolate chips over there. Those are not the ones that we normally get, but I couldn't find the ones that we normally get. There were a lot of things I couldn't find. I couldn't find cheese. Uh, I don't even remember. There were like seven or eight things that I was trying to get that I couldn't find. So the chocolate chips were $12.49. That was another thing I remember when that was 10 bucks. The maple syrup was $11.99. The canned chicken is $12.79. That is for making chicken salad, things like that. Uh, quick things for when we're traveling, when we're on the go. A bag of almonds for my husband to take to work. And those were $9.99. 
I also got a big thing of vinegar. There's actually two things of vinegar in there. I really hate that they don't have the uh, older gallon jugs of vinegar. That really frustrates me um, because they used to be like, what, $2.99 for one of them. And then these are like a liter. I don't even remember. Maybe a liter and a half. I don't know. But those are $5.69. And then I got one thing of gluten-free flour. I'm trying the King Arthur gluten-free flour because I was all stocked up on the Namaste brand and we loved that brand, but now we've switched for some dumb reason. So we're going to try the King Arthur again. I didn't love it the last time I had it, but we're going to give it a shot because what else can we do, right? I'm not about to pay the $20 a bag that it is on Amazon. So we're going with that and I'm pretty sure, let's see, I think that was $10. It is $8.99, so it's cheaper than I thought. And two bags of turkey jerky. That is just for me and the younger kids, and that is $11.99. A few other things I got. I am super excited about this. <laughs> I got this specifically because this is our last market weekend, and it is supposed to be 25 is the low. So we'll be setting up in like mid-30s, and I am not a cold weather person. I don't love it. Yes, I know. I live in Illinois, but it's not by choice. See, can we focus? Can we focus only by my face? So this is an electric hand warmer. It says it lasts nine hours and it's a power bank. I love it. So it is, it was $28.99. So it was not cheap, uh, but I don't have to throw these out. But the reason I got that and those hand warmer and toe warmer things is the toe warmers, obviously they're for your feet and hand warmers are disposable for like when we're out on the land, I keep some as preps in the car. I keep some, my husband keeps them in the blind and our hunting blind, um, especially for when he's got little kids out there with him. We keep some in the shed out there. We keep some in the cabin. We just kind of tuck them everywhere. So we've always got them if we need them. Also, I got a big thing of toilet paper, which is 1949, I think it is, and a giant 40 count case of water bottles. Um, that I just keep in the car because we don't drink them in the house. It's just for on the go. And those are $3.99. So here's my two receipts for a grand total of $937.92. I have never in my life spent that much money at Costco. We go to Costco once a month. We grow our food. Um, this year, I didn't. I didn't grow much. Um, honestly, I did do enough tomatoes, so we're good in the tomato department, but I did not grow enough produce. We had massive failure. Green beans did not grow. Um, things got eaten down. Our cucumbers, like, they did nothing. They did nothing. I will never use that variety again. I don't remember the name of it. If you're really that interested, you can go find the video that I talked about. I wanted to can a thousand jars this year. Not happening. I have realized that it is very, very difficult <laughs> for me. If you know me personally, you're not surprised that I have unrealistic ex expectations of my abilities. I'm very, very determined. And sometimes we fail at things, but that's okay because that's how we learn and that's how we learn to find balance between things, right? So I had 25 green beans plants, they all died. I had a um, couple cucumber plants because that's really all you need, right? I planted 50 different squash plants, one one survived and gave us five crookneck squash and that is it so because of the serious lack of things that i have canned and that i have put in the freezer i'm gonna be buying it this winter which really sucks but nothing i can do about it now right typically what we go to costco once a month um this was almost two months and we're still good on a lot of things which is still it's very weird the child moved out but I'm still feeding him. I don't understand why he needs less food. It's bizarre. So the things that I normally get for herbalism, let's go back to that. This double thing of olive oil um, is now, I wanna say like $32. It's kind of ridiculous, but it's ridiculous everywhere. And this is still the best price that I have found on olive oil. The last time I bought the coconut oil, um, this is again, the organic virgin coconut oil. The last time I bought this, I want to say it was $11.99 or $12.99, something like that. I use this for soap making. I do not use this in anything else. Uh, I don't put this in salves or anything. Salves is just beeswax and herbal infused oil. 
and this is still like one of the biggest purchase products so i stocked up on it last time it was on sale and it had a really good price but i think and that was probably like nine dollars and i stocked up on it there is 84 ounces in this so this right here will give me um two how many batches of soap so i make soap in five pound loaves 50 75 more than three this will give me more than three batches of soap. So more than 15 pounds of soap in one of these. That is a really, really good deal. And I also get vodka from there when I can get there. Now, if I cannot get to Costco because I'm not going to drive an hour and a half, that's where our Costco is, our closest Costco. Uh, I'm not going to go drive an hour and a half just to go get a bunch of vodka. That's a little ridiculous. Kroger and Costco are very close in price. So if I can't go to Costco and go get it, it's fine. I can just get it from Kroger. Uh, but I get my vodka from there to do tinctures. You can also use bourbon. You can use gin. Uh, I would not ever, ever, ever recommend using Everclear in your herbs. And it has been requested to make that a whole separate video on how to choose the right alcohol for your tincture. So that's gonna be coming, um, I'm not 100% sure when, sometime in December, it's gonna be in December. So if you're interested in that video, definitely hit, click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and the notification bell so that you can get notified when that comes out, my talking hand. And also equipment for soap making, equipment for herbalism, there's all sorts of stuff. There's storage stuff, there's, you can get, kitchen stuff that you're going to need to make these things. I don't think I've ever seen mason jars there. I can be totally wrong, but I have, I don't think I've ever, I've also never really paid attention to it because I have a ridiculous amount of mason jars, but we've got blenders. We've got stick blenders. Stick blenders are essential for making all of these awesome things because you got to get into jars and you have to have a good blender so that when you're talking about the bigger amounts, you can just dump all that stuff in there, macerate everything and get everything really broken down really well that's wonderful. So I'm super excited to have that Vitamix. That'll be in future videos and how I use that stuff too. That's my whole Costco haul. And I know it's like barely anything, right? I know when you spend that much money, you're like, there's going to be so much stuff. Not today, my friends. Mm, not today. So I got to put things away because things are melting and I just drove an hour and a half with them in coolers. Mm. If you are new, like I said before, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can stay up to date on the videos and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.